Oh, hey, I've been muted this entire time. Um. Haha. <laughs> uh, classic streamer error. <laughs> I did a whole intro and everything. Bro. <laughs> Uh, hello everyone, Ubel Master here, aka 38 the Master One, bringing you a stream for the Ubel community. Uh, I've linked the Discord because I was saying on the muted mic that, oh hey, um, if you haven't joined the Discord already, join the Discord, because that's what I mean by saying Ubel community and everything. Oh my god, it was muted. Ugh. I knew something was wrong because no one was saying anything in the chat. <laughs> I was like, Oh, is the volume okay? Is the volume okay? <laughs> uh, welcome, welcome, bod heads and live streaming heads, the, and especially you live, live, uh, you what you guys watching live because um, uh, I am streaming at a very weird time. Uh, I am based on my sleep schedule. I am uh, not available on fr on on evenings. Uh, so uh, yeah, I, I really appreciate you for joining. Because it's either really, really late for you guys in the US, or it's really, really early for uh, everyone in Europe and the UK. Um, so good morning to, to Europeans, and uh, uh, maybe it's still good morning for Americans, but like, it's like really late for you guys. <laughs> so I, I thank you to anyone who's watching live from America, because you must be uh, at quite a weird time. Uh, we're doing on chain combos here. We uh, we can discard one for an extra body. I want to think about what I actually want to like finish on here. I haven't I haven't done the Griffin lock in ages. I can't remember if I selected going first by accident or my opponent made me go first. Um, but it's been so long because I've I've been playing like OTK U Bell that I forgot how to do the Griffin lock. Um, let's think though. We need to go into Muckcracker first, right? So I think we'll uh, start off with that. And then... Wait, I think I did this wrong. We were supposed to go to Rage first, weren't we? Huh. Okay, I'm not going to confuse myself with the Gryphon Lock. Because I wasn't ready for it. Um, instead, I'm just going to go for a simple... Uh, Rage plus uh, Caesar play. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, so, we're not going to use opening. Um, but we will use Muckcracker because we've summoned it. Because usually you would go Muckcracker for, uh, to summon Yammer. And then use Yammer and... Um, and then the Muckcracker should be positioned here. That's why I realized I got something wrong. Yeah, you're supposed to go for like Yammer. You're supposed to go into Rage in this position, and then go Muckcracker in this position, and you use Muckcracker to bring back Yammer, and then you use Yammer in this position and Rage in this position to bring out Griffin. So that's four link materials. Uh, but instead, we are going to use this to pop this and bring out Sarama. Trigger this. Uh, we'll trigger this as well because I, I don't think we need to, but I, I think I'm going to anyway. Uh, just to keep things simple, really. So we do have a Caesar on board. Um, okay, we'll go for this. Still have Muckcracker available as well. Um, we can use this to set something. I think I'm going to set the chamber here. Or do we set escape? I think we set escape for extra interruption potential. And we do have to destroy something. So we're going to destroy this because we can bring it back. Okay, and then... Muckcracker is definitely feeling redundant right now, but I do have a, a Triple Tactics talent that I can discard with Muckcracker. Oh, 
Oh, thank, thanks for letting me know. Yeah, I just realized, why is the proportions like that? Oh my God, thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Absolutely scuffed stream. <laughs> thanks for letting me know in chat though. Oof, and, and sorry for Vodhead to have to put up with my scuff. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you guys. Okay, yeah. Uh, I should retract chat quicker. Sorry it took me this long to, to notice it. I was focusing on the combo there. Okay, fixed, fixed. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't notice that. Uh, what are we special summoning? Uh, just this for a random body, I suppose. Um, we only have 45 seconds left. Um, okay, I know what to do. Uh, we go into Rage. Using this and this. And then we go Muckcracker to bring back Sharvara. And then we can make Caesar. We target this. This is a very roundabout combo. <laughs> yeah, it's, sorry 89 Crank. Um, it took me a while to notice that mistake. This is just a warm-up game. Once we get into it, um, I think we'll be back to normal. I'm playing into Mech Knights here, I just realised. Uh, but we have a Maxi. I actually kind of want to hard, like, activate this Maxi. Blind Maxi. So we do have to be careful with the escape, because... Um, we don't actually have a Yammer and Grave to, to trigger the escape. So if we use the escape on the Rage, then that's that's kind of it. Oh, actually, hold on. We can actually use escape on the Rage and then use Muckcracker to tribute itself. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, I saw your comments on my video, um, 89 Crank. Thanks for thanks for commenting. No! So I'm I'm glad I blind maxied there. <laughs> mm, I'm not actually sure if I want to ash bottom this. Hmm. I do wonder what they're playing. Allure of Darkness plus the fiend kaiju. It's very interesting. Um, I really should have set Chamber, come think of it. Because then I would have my Rage back. So that sucks. Um, yeah, I'm going to save the Ash Blossom. We, we, we're, man's running a 60 card deck, though. <laughs> He's packing. He's got a beefy deck. Absolutely massive. So we're going to see what deck they're playing right now. I have no idea what it could be. Gandora, the Dragon of Destruction? What on earth? Is this even an archetype? I swear this is like a Legacy of Destruction thing, which like isn't even out. <laughs> I mean, I know the Legacy Destruction is like a retrain of this, but like, what on earth could he, could they possibly be running that like, makes, actually makes use of this card? Cannot be special summoned. You can pay half your life points to destroy- What? <laughs> Yo, this guy just gave me a Kaiju. <laughs> I guess they couldn't summon anything because of the Caesar and they just- But why did you improve- Are you like self decaying? Okay, how much attack? Um... Okay, this is a really weird first game. <laughs> Let's just finish them off. I am fiend locked here. Oh, I should have gone for the abomination. It's fine. I'm sure we can stop like most things. Um, I hope I don't run into a mirror force or something weird. End of main phase. I 
Okay, Magnum. I can just um, Caesar that. It's absolutely fine. Send Shalvaro to get the trap. Maybe we should have sent the blue dog, actually. Oh. Can this do twice in the same chain? Oh, it can. <laughs> That's broken. <laughs> Oh, that's jokes. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't use Magma on their turn. Did I not have an... I did have a Dark Engrave. I had Rage Engrave. Why didn't they summon Magma? They could have summoned Magma. Like, it would have gotten neg negated, but like, it's going to get negated on my turn either way. Uh, do this one. Gold, ladies and gentlemen. And Caesar's just a card. Honestly, I think they should have just kaiju'd the Caesar. If they had that if they had that much in hand, like. Because they, they could have used those on, on, on my turn. Oh actually, I, I I can see why they went actually, yeah. No, surely I had another Dark Engrave that they could have banished. Because I was thinking maybe they kaiju'd my rage to get rid of the uh, Oh my god, the pearly! The pearly's clapping. It is so cute. Oh my god. Uh, I, I, I have a thing for cute things. Oh my god. My, this is like the best purchase ever. It's, it's so, I, should, I should start clicking the pearly. See what interactions they have. Oh my god. So cute. Uh, hmm. We got second. Why did the music stop? Oh, never mind, it's just playing the next track. Okay, this is an interesting hand. We can only make use of one of these uh, sharp bars in the hand. Oops, sorry for the background noise. Whoa, normal summon Ash? Huge. Oh, okay. This is actually pretty huge. <laughs> we might just be facing. Oh, okay, so. Like a 50, 53 card deck. But, you know, Snake Eyes is Snake Eyes, so. <laughs> this is a finisher rank of 10? What the heck? <laughs> it's the 10th most uh, last, last hit card. That's interesting. Wait, what are they? They added Poplar, right? Are they not triggering Poplar? Um, what? <laughs> Excuse me, what? <laughs> uh, this is like literally like my first Snake Eyes game. Well, actually, no, because I played Snake Eyes in the duels. Duel but it's, this is my first Snake Eyes game on stream. And then they normal summon Ash. They don't trigger Poplar. And then they surrender. What? <laughs> Excuse me, what? Oh my god. It just said Nya. Pearly has a voice. I still need to uh, spam click the, the, the pearly. See what it does. I didn't know it actually says nya. So cute. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I actually bought the um, the pearly uh, mate uh, like yesterday. Ooh, this is a brick and a, a half of a hand. Um. Uh, I might as well find find Maxi well. <laughs> this is like the my friend Pearly pose. Oh my god! Look at the tail. Oh. <laughs> hey, that's the pretty memory pose. Oh, that's so cool! It like references all the cards. That's so cool. <laughs> it's actually it's actually making a noise. It's very quiet though. I wonder if I can. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the noises. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. 
Is it like yeah? Oh, Born Saurus. This is a new card in Master Duel. This is from du Duelist Nexus. I guess they're having fun with dinos. What does this do again? Uh, this card fuses someone place one field spell. Oh, this just searches any field spell. What the heck? <laughs> From your deck or graveyard. Face up. It places it. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so they're, they're drawing my maxi. I think I got... Did I get? Did I actually get a draw out of it? I did, right? Yeah. Yeah, I drew the Rakea. So at least I get one draw out of it, but... Go to Waterfront? Yo, yo, what? Each time I can, can I actually make use of this? Um, once per turn, while three or more kaiju cards, you can add one kaiju monster to reject your hand. Isn't, isn't uh, like the Gamma Seal like actually an effect, like a monster negate? Yo, Trinity! Yeah, the, the Pearly Mate is, is absolutely based. So cute. Yeah, I'm cooking with you, Bell. <laughs> uh, I built a uh, Ubel OTK uh, build for Unchained. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of scared of this Kyoto Waterfront because isn't, isn't Gamma Seal like a like a monster negate, but it's like not once per turn. It's just like counters based. And it's like, it's like a dinosaur, so they can like summon it. Oh wait, they, they can go into Promethean Princess? What the heck? I need to turn it How do they go into Pr Promethean Princess? Oh, this is, oh, Promethean Princess is generic? Evil Star Leos? Yo, this guy's cooking. What the heck? <laughs> He's it. Wait, Gamma Seal's an Omni? I thought it was just a monster negate. That's nuts. Am I am I about to get Gamma Seal? Yo, this guy's cooking. This is the new Dune stuff. Okay, I, I didn't get Gamma Seal, but I I am facing the classic Promethean Princess Ambler Whale. So, oh my god. That is not what I needed. Okay, what does this do? If target one, um. Okay, I can max C this. Target one, uh, I want to be I can maybe do it, attach those. Okay, so this is just a quick XYZ. Uh, so they can, they have, honestly, I don't care about Promethean Princess, because I'm running Unchained. Uh, does this do anything in the graveyard? Uh, this is like self-destruction stuff, right? Target one, so have... Oh, Lars is an Omni! Wait, is this not once per turn? This is two Omnis. Oh, that's that's kind of nuts. Okay, I might actually have to Kaiju the Lars. Uh, they they wait. <laughs> I need to actually need to read because they have to go to a waterfront. They might actually be able to, this. Okay, when a card or effect is activated, that targets one card. And okay, so this is target negation. Remove. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. They can actually make use of this. Quick effect: you can remove three Kaiju counters from anyone in the field. Negate the effect. And if you do, you can destroy it. That's pretty good. Um, so I've got to be careful. Is this just targeting anything? When a card or effect is activated, that targets one card and no other cards. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this is so weird. They have... Is this once per turn? Uh, hello? Is this once per turn? This is not once per turn. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Okay, it's three kaiju counters though. <laughs> Right, so... Oh, this is so... Because this targets. <laughs> Wait, so... I'm like low-key screwed. Okay, this doesn't target, though. Quick effect, you can... Oh, this does target! <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so... I activate... Okay, I think I should, like, normal summon this. And then hopefully bait out so he destroys the Rakea. And then the Rakea floats. Okay, yeah. Um... So he, he only has one target negate. This is like an Omni, so I just kaiju this right immediately. Quick effect, you can attach two materials or one target, one face up. Card your opponent controls. Oh, no, okay, so this is. It might be good actually if I don't like. Because this is targeting a face up card. So actually, 
Maybe it's actually better if I don't kaiju them because they can actually make use of the kaiju. Oh my god, this is so weird. Okay, let's just do this. Because this is negating face up stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. So they can Promethean Princess right now. This is actually quite a good place to Promethean Princess, come think of it. Because uh, destroying this only floats into a spell trap. Um, if I go into this, he'll just negate it. Um, so I think we'll just go into Blue Dog here. Yeah. Or we can, we can like go into Blue Dog and then go into Caesar. Hmm. No, we, we actually need to get Yubao out on the field so we can actually like attack over the Kaiju. Because I'm thinking like we should like Kaiju... Oh wait, why can't we Kaiju right now? Oh, I'm Fiend Locks because of um, Shalvara. Okay, that, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, well, that actually changes things, right? Because... Oh, this is so interesting. Yeah, Shavara locks me right now. Oh, I, I actually that actually changes a lot because I actually really wanted to kaiju after I did this so I can save the the Yammer search. Man, this is so complicated. Okay, um, so rage I can go into rage, but I won't be able to link off my opponent's thing. Oh, maybe I can Phoenix the I can Phoenix the Kyoto Waterfront so he doesn't get the negates. Oh, that's genius. Okay, so I can Phoenix I can Phoenix that, but then it'll get negated by Lars. Oh, this. <laughs> so complicated uh this is this is just quick effect so you can just use it anytime so you can just negate the um actually this is fine i think we, we can just go caesar go to battle phase oh but then okay so if i go caesar they would just go promethean and destroy the caesar Man. um i don't know what to do i think okay i think we'll just go into yammer uh, bait out and negate from this. Um. Oh, uh, okay, it doesn't chain block because it's just a quick effect. So they're probably going to negate the Yammer here. And then they have one more negate. I'm not sure if it's even worth it if I Kaiju them. Because I, I do have the ability to Kaiju now because I'm no longer Fiend locked. But like. So yeah, they're negating the Yammer. Which does hurt. So this, does this negate face up? Negate its effects. Okay, so it, it says target one face up. I don't know if that means, okay. Uh, let me think. Uh, I am running out of time because I spent so much time thinking. Um, I'm thinking we, we'll set this because it gives me the opportunity to like pop some stuff as well. Um... So we have the blue dog. We'll, um, we'll go kaiju. The, is the blue dog once per turn? You can only use, yeah, it is once per turn. So if I try to use the effect in the grave, then they can like targeted negate the thing. Oh my god, this is so this is so this is so stupid. Uh, I really don't want to kaiju them. Um, I just don't have time. Let's just do this. I'm think I'm thinking from here we just I don't know what to do. I this is just so confusing. I want to get Yammer and Grave. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna simplify the game state and like force out the last negate from the Lars, and then we'll go like battle phase. Hopefully, bait out the Promethean Princess as well. I suppose. Promethean Princess is really good here because they can pop something and no, I don't I don't get like optimal floats. I'm just trying to simplify the game set because I, I just spent way too much time thinking. Okay, negated. Okay, they didn't go for Promethean Princess. I think we'll just go to battle phase just to simplify the game state. And then try and go for some interruptions next next turn. Um We'll just go into Rage here. 
use the Yammer to get Yammer in the grave. And then we'll just go end phase. Okay, they're, so they're using Promethean here. Okay, so this is fine. Because we do get floats and stuff. I, I'm probably going to run out of time here. I don't know if I can do this in one second. Rage. Nah. I couldn't do it in time. That would have been an interesting game if I played qu quicker, but that was really unfortunate. Man, that... <laughs> It was just, oh my god, so cute. Oh, pearly. Uh, that was that was super interesting. Just trying to think back, like if I, because like maybe I should have kaiju, because they just got so much value out of that Lars, right? And instead of having two negates, they would have only had like one negate. But oh, that's so complicated. Yeah, I, I think I think I think the play was actually just kaijuing first. Because I think the thing that actually threw me off was the uh, the fiend lock, right? Because I was expecting um, some of the things so some of the things so that they can't target negate using the kaiju, but then they would have target negated something with a ka kaiju eventually. So and that's so weird. Why did they run Kyoto Waterfront? They didn't even add with it. That's so weird. <laughs> like out of all the field spells they could have added, right? Because chicken game is legal in in Master Duel, right? Why didn't they just add chicken game? Get an extra draw, but they 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 had the they had the kaiju waterfront like what? I'm so bamboozled. <laughs> I'm just so bamboozled. Uh, I de I definitely could have like got that game going though. I think um because I could have like linked off because I, I could have gotten back the rage and I think the game state was like in my favor, right? Um. Because, yeah, I could have linked off the Promethean Princess before they would have summoned a fire monster. Uh, they would have had the Amblo Whale, though, in the graveyard to do some stuff, though. So, yeah. I don't actually have that much experience playing against Snake Eyes, um, surprisingly. I, I played against quite a few when I went to an OTS. Um, I so, I played against it using U-Bell. But I, I got, like, I got pretty beat down on. Um, I almost beat the Runic Snake Eyes variant. Um, but, yeah. I've beaten a lot of um, voiceless voice players, though. By the way, uh, Trinity, have you joined the Discord yet? Uh, if not, uh, you can join the Discord there. Because um, you, you can you can promote. I I I really want to promote your videos on on my Discord as well. So because your videos are really good. I haven't watched the latest video though. I I, I do want to watch that. Um, what, wait, what's this guy doing? Why did he normal summon this? Is this just, is this just a, a is this a masochist deck? <laughs> no, I mean, technically the rules of masochist, usually people don't, because isn't, isn't this like a free, yeah, this is like a free card, isn't it, that you get? Because I actually remember using this in Master Door, oh, okay. You didn't have to quit. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, let's move on. <laughs> I've had two people just like surrender today. I've literally never had that on um, on stream before. And like two in a row today? Bruh, <laughs> what's going on in gold three? Yeah, let's actually get a game, please. That's a nice uh, background thing. Dictator of D, we're running blue eyes. Okay. It's going to be a fun deck to beat down. I hope they summon Chaos Max or something. Oh, cool. Thanks a lot, Trinity. Yeah, I, I, I and also I do want to like uh, bounce back and forth some uh, like combo lines and everything. Is that all you can do? Bruh. Man, Blue Eyes sucks. <laughs> okay, uh, we have two normal summons in the hand. 
Uh, that's a little bit unfortunate. Okay, so let's... I don't know if you've seen this before, Trinity, with my, with my previous streams, but this is the U-Belt OTK that I'm going to try and do. Um, so with this, we want to... Actually, we don't care about getting Fiend locked. Um, but usually we... Uh, so we like... If we don't open tour guide if we because we have dark beckoning beast in this deck right so we like we you use two dark beckoning beasts to go into yammer and then we use two level threes and try not to fiend lock ourselves to go into um cherubini and then cherubini we send phoenix rhino warrior but with this we just go straight into yammer because we don't need to send uh phoenix rhino warrior because it's already going to the graveyard and then with phoenix rhino warrior <coughs> uh instead of sending shalvara we actually send um we actually send Ubel instead and then uh and then we cycle through the through the u bells and then get like uh ultimate nightmare out and then <laughs> it's lucky that he, he usually we would like try and kaiju them to deal damage but like um what do we add into hand um there's actually nothing we want to add to hand come think of it oh we can add this actually we can summon this from hand um and then yeah, so we're going to summon Yubel using uh, Yammer's effect. Uh, let's set this. <clears throat> so we don't care about being fiend locked. So I guess we'll just start with this. Actually, I mean, it's probably good practice to like go into Shalvara first so that we can... Because we do have access code talker. So we can go into access code talker. Um, yeah, we might as well activate this. Does Dictator of D have an effect that I need to worry about? Doesn't look like it. Um, um, so we summon the blue dog here. We need to get Yammer in the graveyard. Um, yeah, I'll just discard this because we've already used our normal summon. Uh, okay. Destroy this. So, and then we go into a link. Uh, <clears throat> we could go into a link four. But I think this is, like, the most efficient in terms of, like, attack. Because, like, we're trying to go for OTK, right? So we don't really need to, like, link too much. And they don't have much of a board for us to break, so. Um, and then we... Oh, we shouldn't have linked off the um, the Aruha. I, I was just, I was just, I was just linking off because it was the lowest attack. But I shouldn't have actually done that because I should have, because I was, I was gonna go for Shalvara. Um, okay, this is fine though. Um, uh, I kind of messed up though. Okay, so this is, uh, we'll pop this because we can float this from the grave, and then we trigger Yammer. This is, this is still, like, plenty for game, which is why I wasn't, like, thinking, like, too hard about this. Does, like, Blue Eyes have, like, a hand trap? Like, in Archetype hand, hand trap? I don't think they do. So, yeah, we, uh... We summon New Bell with the Yammer, and then we use the Blue Dog to go into Ultimate Nightmare. And then this should be enough for game, because they provide us kindly with a 3,000 attack monster. <laughs> Thank you, Blue Eyes. But I mean, this this kind of strategy doesn't always, uh, like, does work against a lot of decks, because, like, if not Blue Eyes, it's like something like a Baron de Fleur, right? And we just have to bait that out somehow, right? And then, yeah. <laughs> Actually making use of uh, Ultra Nightmare without the U Bell support. <laughs> Gotta love them blue eyes players. <laughs> oh, such fun. Such fun. Oh, this deck is so much fun. Yay! <laughs> the clap's so cute. I, I don't I don't know how successful it'll, it'll be in uh in the higher ranks though, because I imagine like uh trying to play unchanged, like going like going blind second. Not only that, but like having the chance of drawing like huge bricks in the form of uh, Ultimate Nightmare or Terra Incarnate is going to be pretty brutal against like a freaking eight interrupt board. <laughs> like, yeah. 
And then you just get max seed and it's like, bruh. Um, why am I going first? This guy made me go first. Um, yeah, we can do stuff with this hand, but I think this hand, this hand is a little bricky for going first because we, ha we, we have the kaiju um, and we have nothing to kaiju. <laughs> uh, oh, I hope they don't max see us because because this deck is designed for going second. I haven't put the outs to max C. <laughs> uh, other than Ash Blossom, obviously. So I just have Maxi and Ash Blossom because it's like a blind second. Um, so we don't we don't need call by and stuff because call by isn't very useful going second. Uh, okay, so the only play we have is this. So we're gonna fiend block ourselves, unfortunately. Um, please no Maxi. Ugh, god damn it. What do I do against Maxi as Unchained? Do I just like cry? Is that is that what I do? <laughs> this sucks. I think this is the first time I've actually gotten Max Seed, surprisingly enough. Playing Unchained. Um I st I still want to end on something though. Uh God. Oh, this actually sucks so much. Uh I think I'm thinking blue dog and then oh, I should have gone red dog. Okay, I'm not used to playing against Maxi. But we just go we just go blue dog blue dog rage, right? And give them the plus the plus two. Is it plus three? Yeah, they've like plus three. That's that's brutal. Jesus. <laughs> okay, so we have Max C, C and a Rage. Like hopefully that's enough. Actually we have Max C Rage and a Bomb Unchained uh soul. So that's something. <laughs> we actually have surprisingly a decent amount of interruption, actually. Um, but we do have to discard quite a few, so I don't... Okay. This isn't search. Um, so we don't max C here. We're playing against Mathmech. I think we have decent chances here. Because they they also suffer from max C as well. So hopefully... Um, hopefully the max C will like, either end their turn... Will give us enough draws to like give us more interruptions with a vulnerable, uh, and like maybe we can draw into like an Ash Blossom as well. So they're gonna activate Circular. We max C here, uh, and I think I want to rage off the Circular, or maybe I should like wait for them to have like two cards because like uh, raging off the Circular early might like get rid of their search, but they're going second, so the only the main thing that they're searching is gonna be the uh, the one that revives from Grave. The, Mathematic equation or something. Okay, so the maxi resolves. Uh, they do have. Um, wait, they don't have the thing in grave. Wait, it, what is the thing in grave? This can summon from grave as well, right? I think so. Okay, so if they do summon from grave, then that's when we chain the rage, right? Yeah. Okay. So that they and then we rage off the circular, so they don't get the search. But they probably have the equation anyway. But like. Whatever. At least they go dug us such a trap. Okay, so this is when we use rage. And then when they just when they destroy something, then we can summon um when yeah, when they destroy something, then we can summon the abominable, abominable unchained soul. Get an extra interrupt. So they're still playing on the max C. I, I'm, I'm actually liking my position here, actually. Because, like, my deck suffers to Maxi, but, like, I think Mathmex suffers more to Maxi. And, yeah, on a new chain, we get to spin back their only other card. Uh, I think I'm probably... Oh, wait, we have two normal summons. Um, I actually prefer Dark Beckoning Beast here as the normal summon. So I think we're going to discard the Tour Guide. Because with Dark Banking Beast, we can get opening the Spirit Gates, which is like good for the grind game. Yep, of course, they still have it. <laughs> okay, so they still have some extension here. Uh, but they are playing under Max C. Okay, we drew a second Dark Banking Beast. I'm really hoping to draw an Ash Blossom here. That's my only other form of interruption uh, from the hand. <laughs> they just have all the extenders, man. Ugh. Math mech, isn't it? Eh, math mech. Eh. I just realized I don't have Nibiru in my deck. So, 
it act it actually just doesn't matter because they can they can literally just OTK me with this, right? Yeah, I'm screwed. Oh. Oh yay, thanks for joining, Trinity. Maybe I should add Nibiru to this just to like stop people from like OTKing me. Um sucks. Okay, so they're probably gonna go to battle phase with like a double attacking like 4k attack monster or something. They have so much. They're just That was their normal summon, right? Yeah, this is this this like rank 12. It, yeah, it doesn't matter that I've max even, they're just gonna OTK me. It's interesting that they didn't go to op, uh, that they didn't opt to go to uh, to go second, because I think I think they made me, they forced me to go first. Um, so they're just playing OTK Mathmatic. <laughs> but Mathmatic going first is really good. Like, yeah, it, it's it's definitely it's definitely a fun build. I'll show I'll show you the uh, I'll show you the build after this. Um, well, I mean, if you if you don't want to wait. You can check out my video because I, I I made a video showcasing this. Um, oh, okay, hold on. Uh, I need to read this. Unaffected by card effects. Yeah. So I can't destroy it. Oh, no, it's, it's it's full OTK. Yeah. One hit kill. Cause it. I was thinking it's like it, atta it attacks twice or something, but I was thinking of something else. Oh, that sucks. Uh, I'll show I'll show you the uh, build right now, Trinity. Uh, so yeah, this is it. You can quickly screenshot it because I do want to get get onto some games. Um, yeah, basically the idea is you you use like so you have to be careful with the fiend locks, right? Because you you can't use a ruha to special summon from the hand, and you can't use rakea to quick effect pop something. But you have to special summon them from the deck, which is totally doable with two dark beckoning beasts, right? So just a single dark beckoning beast, you can get two level threes afterwards. You just like um, you go into Yama, then you. Uh, then you search. Well, actually, maybe you do need an extender. Actually, uh, so you search like you search like Shavara, right? And then you discard one to get out Dark Beckoning Beast, and then you special summon Shavara by by destroying the Dark Beckoning Beast. You link off both the Yama and uh, the Shavara to get you into Anguish, just to get yourself out of the Fiend Lock, and then that gets you the trap. And then wait, what do you do after that? Wait, maybe you do need another extender, actually. Actually, um... Yeah, can this destroy any, like... Uh, it has to be opponent. I, I, I forgot the exact combo line, but, like... I, I, I... Yeah, it's tricky to get Cherubini, like, without fiend locking yourself, but, like... Um... It, it's tricky conceptually, right, to, to think of. But, like... I, I've, do, I've done it pretty consistently, so it's actually it's surprisingly consistent consistent once you actually get get to it. But like, because I've li like literally OTK people, I've actually gotten out like Ultimate Nightmare pretty easily like several times. But I, I'm not sure if it's actually a one card combo that goes into um, Ultimate Nightmare or not. I think you can, it's definitely a one card combo if you can use uh, the uh, Abyss Actor. Um, you know that Abyss Actor card that just that it's a fiend link to, and it, you you can destroy something, and then you can use that to trigger Yammer's engrave effect. Uh, maybe you could do it with that as like a one card combo, but it does require you to actually run it in your extra deck, and like it's such a niche thing. You know, I actually run Abyss Actor in my um, uh, Abyss Actor Super Producer in my current version of my uh, Ubel deck pre um, Legacy Destruction. Because in certain in some combo lines you can actually end on Caesar, um, it and you actually need the Abyss Actor for that combo. Like there's no other way to do it. It's hard to explain without showing you, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Pre pre legacy pre legacy is pretty nice because it, it, there's some very niche combos. But like post legacy, you just don't need him because you you can always just consistently like end on whatever you want because you just have so many bodies with the two new cards. Uh, we have a question from Albaz Rack. Does uh, LADD have any place in a Ubel deck, or is it, or any viable deck for that matter? Light and Darkness Dragon? Are you talking about? <laughs> uh, that's interesting. Um, 
So you, you like need to tribute summon it, right? Um, I don't know if it has a place in like a, uh, you are, you are talking about light and darkness dragon, right? Um, I don't know if it has a place in new bell decks, honestly. Like I, I think I, the last time I saw like light and darkness dragon in a deck profile was like some, oops, sorry, my phone is, um, last time I saw like light and darkness dragon in, in a deck, deck profile, it was like some snazzy, like, uh, Horus like stun deck. Like half like Horus, like half stun. And like they had like Mausoleum or something crazy. They're like Mausoleum or the Emperor in, in the deck. But they also like tribute summoned using the Horus cards as well. For for Light and Darkness Dragon. And it was and Light and Darkness Dragon was literally a case of if you if you see it, you see it, because there was like no way to search it. But you could easily tribute summon it because of the Horus cards. It's just so weird. But it it, it looked like it worked, like surprisingly enough. And then they, obviously they had like skill drain and like some like floodgates and stuff. So it's like a horror stun deck. But this guy's going full tier limits, uh, wombo combo. Uh, we do have a kaiju. That's good. We do have a brick in our hand as well though, so that's not good. Uh, we have two abominations in prison. Hopefully we don't draw the third. Yeah, like line darkness. I mean. I, I, I get why you probably want to run Light and Darkness Dragon because it's like a GX card. But uh, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't see it having a place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I wonder when the Horus will be coming out in uh, Master Door. When it does, I think it'll be quite popular for sure. Are they done with their tier limits combo yet? Okay, so this is like a special summon negate. Uh, wait. This card sent to the graveyard card. Okay, so I can just kaiju this and it doesn't return, right? Should be fine. Um, how much more interruptions can they? Does it? Does the abyss? Does a bit? Abyss dweller hurts me, right? Because I can go into abyss dweller. Please don't go into abyss dweller. Okay, time for people. Okay, that's good. So they're just trying trying to combo more. What are they going to end on? Like an Appaloosa? Okay, they have a shuffle. Um, but do they... Oh, they have a shuffle and a Fairy Tale Snow. Okay, this isn't too bad. I think this is winnable. But this is like... This is one of the rare occasions where I'm actually facing a meta deck. So, I don't... I, I surprisingly don't have... Okay, I, I actually, I do have quite a few plays, actually. Because I have, yeah, I have two, I have two pops. Uh, I have two opportunities to summon. Oh, wait, they used the wrong effect. Yo, why did they just use Time Thief? Like, they didn't wait for the standby phase. That must have been a misclick, right? So I guess we don't have to worry about time for you. Oh no. We definitely have to worry about this. Um, I'm thinking just Kaiju the damn window. Like, it can't be destroyed with card effects, which actually got me caught me off guard. But at least they didn't go Dweller. Because actually, D Dweller would actually be a lot more harmful than a window. Because at least I can Kaiju the window. Okay, so we're definitely going to start off with... Uh, Kaiju on the window. Uh, so we have a summon negate to, to deal with. Um, I am going to activate this. Hopefully it resolves, because if it doesn't resolve, then we only have one play, which is probably going to get negated. Okay, it resolves. Okay, good. So we add this. Um, yeah. Yeah, we add this. Um, let's start off with a Shalvara play. Uh, we should set this. And then you Shalvara.
Let's see how this goes. Okay, fair enough. That's their one negate. Okay. Do they have any more? Okay. Oh wait, they have. They still have a lot more interactions though. They have Fairy Tale Snow and they have the Shuffler. I think I think I can play around those though. Okay, so this is gonna resolve. We get a trap. Oh, if they if they start milling and they get um, they might be able to get more interruptions with this. They might have like the Graffa Dragon or something. Oh, this is rough. They they did actually do a decent amount of um plays during their turn. What do I set here? Um. Because I'm thinking if I need this. I don't think I don't think I do because like they just like popping doesn't really do much against their deck. Yeah, we'll just do that. So because I was thinking like use the field spell. I mean use the continuous spell and flip it face up. Um. Okay, so we have plenty of pop targets. We'll pop the trap first so that we can like recycle the trap using um, Sarama. Okay, they're resolving their effects. Put it to hand. Oh, this they, they they I just realized yeah they've milled a they've milled a super volley so they might have a set super volley. This might not be winnable, guys. This might not be winnable. This is literally our only play remaining. If they, if they, like, negate this somehow. Okay, it resolves. We are fiend-locked, so we can't go into Cherubini, unfortunately. Because, um, actually, a, an ultimate nightmare play would be pretty juicy. It will legit be pretty juicy. They've got 3,500 on field. Um, so they haven't used the float effect. Uh, so we want to link this off. Wait. I think if, if I link it off, it still counts as card effect, doesn't it? Sense of the Greg. I, I, Trinity, Trinity, do you know if like if I link this off with um, anguish, does it does it get to use the float effect and, br and bring itself back? Uh, I need to think about what I'm summoning here. This one, yeah, this definitely this one. Yes. Okay. I, I thought so. Blue eyes, white shining. Um, so we just make use of this effect first and then we go into Yammer. So we want to set this, which will be saved for next turn. And then we pop the face down Abomination's Prison. Their connection is playing up. <laughs> Maybe we get a free win because they DC. Um, this is, this is tough though. They can put, they haven't used their Fairy Tale Snow yet. Um, I'm actually surprised because if I were the, if I were them, I would actually use their Fairy Tale Snow, and uh, just put put the Sarama face down so I couldn't use the ignition effect. That would have been act that would actually that play would have legit just end my turn. They actually should have done that because that that play would have ended my turn. Um, I think we want to like float some more. Uh, actually no, we'll do this. We'll do, we we need to do this so we can get the blue dog in the grave. Um, okay, so this is going to float anyway, so I, oh, maybe, actually, we can, we can pop some back row with this, though. Can, can we out this twice? Oh, maybe if we go into Caesar, we can out it. Sure. Um, oh, I can link, he won't trigger. Okay, yeah, so we'll, we'll link him away. Um, in that case, we're going to try, we're going to blind snipe one of these back row, because these back row is definitely some kind of interruption. The good thing is non-targeting. Wait, wait, wait. Target one effect mostly controls. Send one monster to control. To the graveyard. Okay, one monster you control to the graveyard. Okay, that that's fine. I baited out one of the interactions. Um, we're gonna get out the blue dog, and then use the, we're gonna use the blue dog to pop one of their back row. The other back row. Okay, it's looking good. It's looking good. I, th I think we can break this board. And then we go into Anguish, because we should have enough bodies. Um, yeah. Unchained is pretty decent at breaking boards, because this is like a full 
But I think this is my first time like coming across like. Oh, I forgot about the shuffle. This is actually huge for them. Yeah, this is this is completely fair enough. Um. Okay, so. We can, we can go into, okay, this is tricky. We need to, we can go into Yama and search something that pops. We haven't normal summon. Okay, this is fine. So, oh, it still pops it. That's pretty cool. Wait, wait, I can go into Blue Dog. I can go, I, yeah, I can go into Blue Dog still. Okay, okay. Uh, I mean, it still stopped me from doing, to, it, it, it stopped me from getting back out like one body, but like, that probably doesn't feel good for them, right? Um, well, Unchained is pretty good at going second, actually. Uh, so we pop this, pop that, and then we get one more body. Okay, there goes the Super Poly. Um, I think Blue Dog does still resolve, so we do get a body. And then we can go into Yama, because we still haven't gone into Yama yet. Um, so that Super Poly is their last interaction. Wait, are they going to go into Draco Stapelia, maybe? Okay, and this does mean that we get to pop something else. Uh, this card's into Graveyard, you can add one Tinnus just from deck to hand. Uh, we probably want to pop the Field Spell, right? Yeah, we definitely want to pop the Field Spell, because they haven't used the Field Spell pop effect, right? Okay, so that's going to come back as well. Draco Stapelia. Yeah, that Draco Stapelia sucks. Uh, destroy a card. We'll pop this. Okay. okay so that's going to float. Okay, we'll see what they do with the Draco Spellia. Um, if they negate the Yama, then we still have three bodies. So we can go into Anguish, and then we can Anguish off their highest attack monster. Well, they have a trick count. What the fuck? Trick clown, it's part of my language. Uh, it was just, was it just milled? Oh, they discarded it using Super Poly. Okay, I mean that's that's fine. Um, it's just a random body. Uh, what do we special summoning? We can go, yeah, we can go Rakea and then pop this, I guess. Um, yeah. But I mean, do we need to go Rakea? I don't think we do, right? Um, yeah, I, I think we'll just go for Shavara. Just so that like, it's in rotation and we can add it from the graveyard to the hand. Because, I mean, we, we can we can cycle through these, but it doesn't actually give us an extra body. Because the only things that actually give us an extra body is something like this or this. Okay, so we go into um, Yammer. And then we can add a normal summon, and that normal summon can be Rakea. Okay, yeah. Um, so this is probably... I mean, at least I hope it does. I hope it baits out the Draco Sapelli negate. Um, but if he's smart, he wouldn't negate He wouldn't negate this. Um, but if he's not smart, then he wouldn't... Okay, this is good. This is perfect. He, he just completely misplayed here, right? So, because he should have negated the Anguish. But now I'm just going to Anguish and uh, just clear his board now. Okay, perfect. Uh, so we go into Anguish. Uh, so we did end on an escape instead of a chamber. But I think that, uh, based on the cards we had, I think that's the best we could have done. Oh, he's still- okay, no, Fairy Tale. So the last interaction is Fairy Tale Snow. However, you cannot put face down Link Monsters. So we are absolutely good to go. Okay, we are losing 500 attack, but it's a good thing he has the... That trick count actually messed him up. Because if he didn't have the trick clown, then I wouldn't actually be able to clear his board. Uh, but now I can just attack into trick clown, destroy the Draco Sapelia. This, this, this guy completely misplayed. If this guy was smarter, then I wouldn't have actually been able to break his board. Uh, so if this was Masters, I actually would have... Uh, I probably would have lost this. If this, if this was a Masters player, then um, I would have lost this. Well, he did well. He did the combo, so... Um, but yeah, I guess that's the difference between like a Masters player and like a, a, a Diamond player. And then end phase, uh, can we do anything in main phase too? I don't think so. Um, 
these, these do get float effects, but like, we probably pop this, right? Because this is just like once per turn monster negate. This is like once per turn mill three, right? Yeah. If it's something normal summoned. Uh, add one tier limits monster. Okay. This is tricky. Um, so either I get rid of the monster negate or I get rid of this and hope they don't have follow up. I, I'm actually I'm actually thinking that maybe I should go for this because this actually gives them like a lot of follow up and I don't have like enough follow up so I think even though this is like the scarier thing to deal with because it's like a monster negate I think I should deal with this first because the more follow up is, is actually what what wins them in the, the game in this situation I hope that's the right decision uh, they do get to float though but it's just a trap so that's that's a lot that's a lot worse than them because if, if I pop this, they'll get a monster, they'll normal summon it, they get to mill three, and they might just completely kill me. So, I think this is the lesser of two evils. Um, yeah, okay, hopefully this is enough. I have a Yammer in my grave, uh, but we didn't have enough resources to go into Rage. But we can, oh, they still have the, I completely forgot about the Time Thief Redo. But that's fine. Um, maybe they get, maybe they might get lucky and steal one of my traps, but like, yeah. Wait, how can I clear the whole field? Um, I mean, this this kind of does clear the. Uh... Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I want to do this. I don't think Time Thief Redo is enough of a, of a threat for me to actually pop. Um. Yeah, I don't think so. I, I think I'm going to maintain my field. Um, uh, hold on. I wonder about Chain Link Order. If I, if I use this, if I use Escape to... Okay, you're going to draw a card. That's absolutely fine. Um, that was a good top deck as well, by the way. <laughs> um, How, how could I how could I have um, cleared the entire board though? Because um, I think I used everything I could have, but I, I don't think I could have cleared this as well. I, I would have if I could have cleared this. I think I would have wanted to, but I don't think. Okay, so I, I think I think they surrendered there because I think they blocked. They had a lot in hand. I'm surely they had something. It's interesting. I don't know why they surrendered. I get. I guess it was like a bricky hand or something. Anyway, that was that was well played by me, honestly. <laughs> that was a that was a freaking earned victory right there. Freaking using ninety percent of my brain power. Uh, hydration check. Need that water for that brain fuel. Hmm, that was some uh, tasty water, H two O flavored. Stay hydrated, viewers. Um, so yeah, we're in gold two now, everyone. Uh, we made it, gold two. Yeah, I mean, I think, the, I think I won because they they misplayed. Like the main the main misplay they had is that Draco Stefelia. I think a good player would have known not to Draco Stefelia there, because they would have known to Draco Stefelia the anguish. And then I would have been completely messed up. Uh, you can banish one virtual. I have no idea what virtual world did. This is like pretty much my first. I think I've played against virtual world, world like once. Uh, what is this? Tiger one face up on the field. Banish this card from the graveyard. Okay, so this doesn't summon. Uh, does virtual world have a link one? Whatever, I think I'm probably maxing this. Uh, if this card is in your hand, you can target one virtual world card. Send one virtual world card of a different type. From your deck to the graveyard. This just okay. It's sense for effect. And if you do special on this card, then you can send one virtual of a third type from your deck. This just like sends like two cards to the graveyard. What the heck? Press the turn. You can only special on level one if you're higher. Cool. Get max seed. He had the gamma. I'm not letting you gamma this. This maxi will resolve. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> oh, that that could have been that could have been nasty. 
Uh, thank God I had the Ash Blossom. <laughs> that could have been nasty. Oh. They make they make XYZ and Synchro plays. I think they have some... They have a Macro Cosmos. Ooh, no. Okay, well, they're going to have to play under Max C. So, what, what does this trap card do? They sent this trap card. Uh, during the battle phase, if you control another... Uh, you can target one face up. Okay. Yeah, they, they just folded to Maxi. <laughs> I got I got so lucky that I had the out to Gamma. Because if I got gamma there, it would it would like high key be over. <laughs> uh, I won the minigame. <laughs> uh, freaking Master Door. Thank God we don't have Maxi in the TCG. I I, I would hate that. Like d during my hiatus, Maxi was still legal, but like it was kinda at a point where like it didn't affect my Ubel deck, so I was kind of like, oh yeah, no, Maxi, Maxi is great. Uh, I can't afford it because it's like 20 pounds right now, but I pulled one from the tins, yay. <laughs> so I like, I think I like ran like one Maxi in my deck, uh, playing uh, Doom Shaman Ubel with like BL's Synchro. Um, BL's the, the king of diabolic dragons because it's 3,000 attack monster that can't be destroyed by Terran Garnate. What is this hand? Bro. <laughs> Okay, well this, we have a kind of a hand trap. <laughs> um, uh, this adds right, yeah. So let's save the Maxi for later. He's running over 40 cards. Maybe they're playing Dragon Link. Yep, they are. Time to Maxi them. You need to go, Trinity. Thank you very much. Thanks for the good luck. Oh, that Maxi just ended their turn. <laughs> Maxi, everyone. Yeah, have a nice day, Trinity. Um, I'll keep in touch on the Discord. Thanks for joining as well. See you around. Uh, okay, so how do we play this? We have two Abomination, which is absolutely fine. Let's start with the first one. Um, probably add a Shavara, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. So we add Shavara. I think I want to like go for the uh, summon this early actually. Uh, just get rid of the back row, just to get rid of the, all the unknowns. Uh, let's add a Shavara to hand, and then we set the other one. I'm. Uh, we don't actually need to play this face up. We can play that face down actually. Okay, they're just gonna quit. Absolutely fair, my friend, because I'm I'm pretty sure I had OTK, and they they they're playing Dragon Link, so I guess they're familiar. Um, we're, we're getting like high quality games now. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting lucky winning the Maxi mini game, <laughs> and people are just folding to that. But we might be able to like rank up two ranks in a single stream, <laughs> uh, which is going to be a first for this series. So yeah. I mean, streaming in the morning does mean that I'm a little bit less tired, so I'm not inclined to like just stream for an hour and say, "Okay, I'm going to bed now." <laughs> Ooh, this hand is a little bit ugly, but we do have the Maxi. We're getting lucky with these maxi draws. Um, I'm tempted to like, I don't know why, but my intuition is telling me to blind maxi. Um, I don't know why. I'm going to trust my intuition here. Because usually I don't blind maxi. Um, I, it might not matter. They might have the out to it, but like, we'll see. And actually, if I do blind maxi... Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Blind Maxiing during the draw phase is best, so they can't draw me. Um, I don't know why I didn't... Because usually I would chain Maxi. Okay. Oh, they're playing Heroes. Okay. So I could have Maxied them, like, either way, and it would have ended their turn. Um, yeah, usually it's better to chain Maxi, but, like, sometimes you come across, like, a random cash tier deck. But I guess my intuition was incorrect. Because uh, they were not playing Kashtira. But hey, we're playing we're playing heroes. And they just uh Ooh, wait a second. Dark Law completely messes me up. <laughs> Hold on a second. Um I might be screwed here. <laughs> uh so they're gonna get the random discard. Oh, this sucks. And they get the dis 
Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> oh, this sucks. I hope they don't draw not by me. Okay. I I Okay, that's absolutely fine. Uh that was probably the best thing they could have actually if they if they banished this, that would have been better. Okay, I need to think about I need to think about how to play around Dark Law. Because I do want to get rid of it as soon as possible. Um, maybe we can... Uh, I don't think we can go Battle Phase that early. Um, we can't go for much XYZ plays. Oof, okay, so this is just like banished stuff. Um, they still have another interaction. Um, could be a Super Poly. Uh, because it did flash when I have, uh, when I had those two fiend monsters. Oh, uh, I just realized the music has stopped. Uh, let's just quickly get a new, a new playlist going. Oh, that's the wrong button. Okay, there we go. Music's playing again. Uh, back to the game. Okay, so let's see what they have. Because uh, there's a lot of interaction that can hurt. Okay, they didn't have anything. Um, we'll get out Shalvara here. Then I'm thinking setting Abomination's Prison and using Shalvara. If they do have interaction to stop that, that, that is quite harmful. Um, but I'm thinking just going to Anguish and then wait. Does Anguish require to be sent to the graveyard? I don't think so. Okay, we're good. Wait, is, is, is it... Is this card... Is this set card... Is, okay, it's just destroyed. Okay, we are absolutely fine. Unfortunately, we do not... Okay, actually, we, we can get the float if we specifically make this go to the graveyard. So, okay, let's summon this in attack. Oops. Let's that again. Um, okay, so we're gonna... Special something... Special summon something that doesn't mind getting banished. Oh. oh, this is tricky. Um, oh, thanks for joining, 89 Clank. Um, okay, so I'm okay. I'm thinking we just going go into Abomination, uh, Abominable, uh, Unchained Soul, and then uh, use it to destroy the Dark Lord. See how they respond to that, and then we just guard opening because like, I don't think we can actually make use of the opening. Um, because there's nothing in the graveyard that we can summon, and we, we also require a discard for it, so um, I think this is absolutely fine. This is non-target as well, so let's see what they have. I, I, I'm i thinking that's the Super Volley, but I think the priority is definitely the Dark Law, because we want to start getting stuff in the graveyard. Okay, good. Okay, successfully eradicated. Now we get out of the Fiend Lock, maybe? Wait, we don't actually have much follow-up, actually. Hold on. Um, okay, maybe if we go something like um, Muckcracker or something. I just realized we, we actually don't have much follow-up right now. Um, maybe we just go for Unchained Abomination. Okay, we've kind of... Oh, actually, we should go for Phoenix. Okay, we don't get the co-link effect. Um, yeah, I'm thinking we go into Phoenix, actually. Uh, and then... That will destroy the back row. Just to get rid of... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. 7,000. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um... Surely that Okay, so this will get us a trap. Surely there's a way... I don't think there is. Because we need to pop our own card. Is there actually just no way to combo? Oh, this is rough. Okay. Um... Uh... Okay, I, okay. I know what we need to do. Um, let's go to Bass Face. Just hit the dome for some damage. 
Um, and then we go into Rage. Main phase two. Okay, we go into Rage, and then maybe keep Yammer on board or something. Um, no, actually, we should go into Rage. Okay, we definitely want to go into Rage, right? Um, okay, I think I know what to do. I know exactly what to do. Um, we go into Rage to get it into rotation. And then we go into the Link 4. We trigger this. Okay, I need to think about my end board here. Okay, this is this is this is good. This is good. This is good. They've caught by the thing, which means I don't need to worry about that back row anymore. Um, and that wasn't the best thing for them to call by. Okay, now I need to think about this. So, end phase. Okay, yeah, so we do have the option of going into this. And then it will be end phase, I can pop something. During the end phase, you can target one card. So I can pop itself. And then Yamo will summon Rage. That's not worth it. Okay. So we just we just we just leave this as our end board and hope that that's enough. Also, actually, this is absolutely fine. Yeah. Because we can go into we can use Rage to go into um to go into the Nightmare Unicorn. Uh, oh, maybe we should have gone... Actually, if we if we went into Muckcracker, then we wouldn't have had a discard. Because I was thinking Muckcracker just to get the downward facing arrow. Uh, to get the co-link for the Nightmare Unicorn. But I guess the co-link isn't really possible. Which is, which is absolutely fine. I guess the, the co-link is only really possible when you go for the, like, the Gryphon Lock. Um, I feel like I could have ended on a much better board. And I feel like there was probably a line to OTK as well. If I if I didn't go for the for this for this thing, but then again, like if I went for something else, then I'd, I'm not sure how I could have started popping things. Um, yeah, I think if I was a better player, I, I would know exactly. But um, it is what it is. Okay, so I can't link that up because it's normal summoned. Um, but any, sp I I think I I'm, I stand a pretty decent chance of like just interrupting this hero player. Because the only thing that I need to worry about is like a mass change to, to like dodge something, right? Um, so actually, in that case, I'm going to like try and like link off something that isn't that isn't dark, and maybe that would. But like most of their stuff is dark anyway. So like, if they have the mass change in hand, then like they got it. Um, okay, so they're adding the liquid soldier. They've already used their normal soldier though. They get their polarization. There's literally nothing I can do right now. So the, what what are they gonna fusion into? Maybe like um probably the uh, sunrise, right? Oh this is rough actually. Sunrise gives them Oh absolute zero, interesting. That's not that's not a good decision by them, isn't it? I actually want to rage when they have more than one card on, on the field. So we're actually going to save this rage until they go like battle phase or something. This is the main phase effect, so we can't wait too long. We're actually getting some good games. Uh, we're actually getting some good games now. <laughs> Not just like Dark Magician Blue Eyes. Okay, what do they discard? A uh, what? A Luba? Why are you running this in Heroes? What are you branded fusioning for? What the heck? <laughs> That's so unexpected. Maybe they're like adding a different branded spell or trap? Before the you're going straight to battle? You know, I suppose that's like completely fair enough. Oh, sweet. We shouldn't we shouldn't go into um We shouldn't go into Fiend, um Unicorn then. We should go into something like uh Anguish, shouldn't we? We haven't used Anguish yet. So wait, this... Hold on. Destroy all monsters. So it will... Oh, the Maxi. Oh, that, that's pretty harmful, actually. They're going to get a lot of jewels off this. Oh. If I... Uh, yeah. Hindsight's always good, but, like... If I would have known this, then... Um, so we do get some floats, by the way. 
Um, we're not going to trigger the Yammer, though. I, oh, we can't trigger Yammer, anyway. Um, to add to hand, right? Um, we only run one Rage. Uh, I think we add this to hand. Just to actually give us, like, something in hand, right? Branded Fusion, that's so interesting. You just run Branded Fusion in Heroes, what the heck? He's running a, a 40 card deck as well. This guy is cooking. That's so good. It makes sense, though. Because you, you can do some snazzy stuff with Branded Fusion in Heroes, come think of it. Oh, send the Dasher as well. That's so cool. Is that is that like the best you could have sent, sent though? Like, any Dark Monster? You, why not send Malicious? Where's your Malicious? <laughs> Maybe they're going to discard Malicious, probably. This is, this is pretty cool to watch, though. Okay, discarding Alpha. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know why you didn't send uh, Dasher. I mean, uh, Malicious. Would have been so much better. Um, did did I say like it will be my last game? The lo uh, the last game. <laughs> I think I, I think I remember myself saying that, but then I, I kept on playing. <laughs> this game's too good. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll play on. We'll, we'll keep on playing because I'm having fun. Okay, I I think I can deal with this. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you just so you just so you, I see. So you just use the dasher to to go into DPE. That's interesting. That's an interesting use of brand of fusion. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, oh, hold on. <laughs> uh, that was not a great draw, actually. Yeah, that was actually an absolutely awful draw. Um, I'm screwed. I'm, I'm just screwed. I, I can't do anything. <laughs> okay, this sucks. <laughs> this just sucks. Um, I should have discarded the U-Bell. Yeah, I should have discarded U Bell. But I was like, oh, no, I can summon U Bell, right? Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, if I was a better player, I, I could have definitely won this game, I think. Because there was probably a line for OTK, even though I had to like play around the Dark Law. Oh, that sucks. Is this when something is destroyed, like, period? Okay, let's, try, let's see if we can bait something out. Because if we do, then we we can actually summon a Bonal Unchained Soul, but like it doesn't look like it's gonna work. Oh, maybe? Nah, yeah. Okay, well maybe if they like use DPE, nah, it's just Copium. I'm dead. And I know I gave them more attack, but like a single Gnaw summon kills me anyway, so like either way I feel like I'm dead, so I might as well try and like bait out something. Um, yeah. Honestly, they deserve to win, like, because I, I, I probably could have played better. We learn. Hmm. We'll, we'll play a few more games, hopefully get a few more wins. Oh my god, I have not been updating my win ratio. <laughs> I am so useless with that, oh my god. Uh, someone in chat remind me to update my win ratio after the game. <laughs> Every time, man. <laughs> Just zero zero. Oh my god. So bad. Hmm. Weird hand. Uh, I'm gonna chain Maxi. We have both the. Oh, we have both the Maxi and the Ash. Ooh, trap tricks. Oh, uh, do I ash this? Last time I didn't ash something. I mean, ashing this, like, denies them the actual normal summon. Allows me to destroy things by battle. I feel like I want to ash this. Because this is, like, the only way to get it. And, like, 
getting their field spell like improves their combo by a crazy amount. Yeah, I, I don't. I, I'm gonna ash this. Um. Okay, we, we have to ash first. I was thinking, oh, maybe I can chain block with Maxi. There's, no, that's not how it works. Because if I use Maxi first and then use Ash Blossom, then I'm Ash Blossoming my own Maxi. Um. And yeah, we'll just Maxi on this chain so that they can't. Um. So that I get draws on the uh, Link Summon. I did used to play Trap Tricks before, so I know this deck very well. It was my first deck I played on uh, when I got back from my hiatus. It was like, oh, it's Trap Tricks. Like, like, cause I remember it. I remember Trap Tricks uh, during Hat Format, which I actually played Hat Format, and the deck isn't that different, other than like the Link Monster. So all I had to learn was just the Link Monster, and that's it. Um, so yeah, it was a good. It was a good way to, for me to learn as a beginner, and like relatively speaking, it's like very good for beginners. So um, they're just playing into my maxi. Interesting. Yeah, they're just they're just going full. Just <laughs> they're just ignoring my maxi. Like whatever interruptions you're you're setting up, buddy. Like I'm pretty sure I can break them. <laughs> uh, I play. Oh, there's my normal summon. I do hope to draw a kaiju because a kaiju would be very useful against uh, the Rafflesia. It will make things a lot simpler because the Rafflesia like protects other things from being destroyed. It's going to be a redoer. Okay. I mean, you could have gone into redoer with that, but yeah. Oh, and we have Maxi for our turn for extra draws. Okay, yeah, this is this is going to be easy. Single interrupt. <laughs> we have a tour guide as well. Um, well, I do think I'm. I feel like I want to go for Dark Beckoning Beast. Uh, so we'll start. This might be a long turn, so. Uh, wait, you didn't even set any traps, <laughs> bro. <laughs> You're just gonna, sure. Floodgate. Okay, I actually, cause floodgate. Um, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter when I use this, but because I can like destroy it face down anyway. So actually, we're not gonna chain it. Oh, but then again. Hmm. Okay, yeah. So okay, that's gonna be a monster effect, and then there's gonna be some kind of back row there. Yeah, honestly, this is such a weak board, and they've just wasted their first interruption, inter interruption, interaction. Um, well, actually, I think we we do have to like destroy this because we, if we want our second normal summon, then we're gonna have to discard something using opening spirit gates. Um, so this is to set, right? Yeah, that's absolutely fine. You can set something. The only way that they're gonna have more interruption is if they set the. If they set this and then activate it. And then if they activate it, then I could just max see them anyway. So like, yeah, good luck, mate. Um, so we activate opening spirit gate, see if they have a response to this. And we'll kind of make the most of the double normal summon by using opening the spirit gates to summon the second, to, to summon Dark Beckoning Beast. And we'll like use Charvara to like pop it. Okay. Wait, why would you do that? No, this guy's just bad. This guy's just brainlessly bad. Like, you have that interaction, right? And you're using it now? When all I have is a face-down monster? And you know what? I'm gonna dodge this. Um, when this card is... Is this, is this, this is target? I hope it targets. Because this is stupid. Now, now, I'm, now I'm just gonna outplay you. Okay, hold on. Uh, unaffected by when this card is normal summoning the target... Uh, when it's got a special summon, you, so it targets. So yeah, you just... Oh wait, it has to target face up. Okay, so you just wasted the effect anyway, because it doesn't activate. So I didn't even need to play around it, bro. This guy's so bad. Um, so we're going to try and link this off, because this does protect them from being destroyed in battle. Uh, so let's discard... Um, we have so much discard fodder as well. Uh, probably discard this because we can summon it from the grave in some kind of way, maybe. Um, put it in attack mode to assert dominance. Uh, and then we second normal summon. And we, I think we, I think I want to go into Yammer using um, the Shavara so we get the set. Um, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. 
Um, so we are still not fiend locked. And also this unfiend locks us. So the aim here is to get into Cherubini. Um, and then summon Yubal using Yammer. Okay. Uh, set a card on the field. Which one are we setting? We are setting this one. Oh, uh, we could have set the spell, actually. We should have set the spell. Um, and then to add to hand, we have already normal summoned. Uh, we add this. Um, and then we need some level... Don't do that. Uh, we need level threes. How do we get level threes? Um, okay. While I'm thinking, how do we get level threes? Hold on, I'm not sure if we can actually get a level 3 without actually fiend locking ourselves. Um, hold on, okay, I know. Uh, maybe we can do this and then like trigger Yama in... Oh, but then if we trigger Yama in Grave... We can always go Muckcracker if we need to, actually. Yeah, okay, we're going Access Code. Because I, I, they, have a, they have a board for us to actually break, so... Let's actually go about breaking that board. And this might actually cause them to quit anyway, because it's like, oh no, access code, I'm going to get OTK. Um, let's pop the back row, because we can. Uh, we want to banish this. Oh, I am... Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Uh, you're a tactics player, I said. Oh my god. <laughs> ignore that. Please ignore that. <laughs> That's embarrassing. No way. Oh my god. Okay, so... I... Oh my god, that sucks! <laughs> oh no! Okay, um... What can we add that actually pops something without fiend locking us? I don't think there's anything that actually does that. We've already used this. Okay, so unfortunately, we cannot go into Ubel. That is, um, uh, regressible. I'm so stupid, man. No. Okay, so we are just fiend locked right now, so we can't go into Cherubini. Um. Can we trigger this? Might as well. Oh well, we'll just OTK them with like <laughs> six monsters. <laughs> That is a shame. That could have been so much style points. Um, special summon from the deck. This one. Were we supposed to special summon Sarama? Oh, it's fine. We can just pop something. Um, uh, if, if that was when it was special summoned. Um, we could special summon that, but we might as well special summon from the grave. Uh, and yeah, we'll just pop this just to get through stuff. Uh, trigger this. Discard. And trigger this. We can actually pop that back right now, though. Um, special summon this guy. Or girl. Um, just stop. I mean, we probably should have popped a monster. But, like, um, we have, like, plenty. Oh, actually, we should have popped a monster because this can pop... Back row. Okay, I am... I am not the best player. <laughs> uh, okay, I think we should set this. And then Sarama. To set this. And pop this. Activate this. And... We could go into Rick here, but I don't... I don't feel like we need to, though. Um, I feel like I've, like, haven't used Rakea, like, at all. Uh, actually, we can extend even further by going into, um, let's go into Rage, I think. Actually, we go, we go into Muckcracker, maybe? Okay, we don't have enough time to think. Um, I want to get rid of this and this. Oh, I misplayed um 
Hold on. Okay, you know what? I don't have time to think. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of outplayed over, uh, like outplayed myself. This is really embarrassing. <laughs> I should probably stop streaming after this. I think I used too much brain power on, on like the previous games. Uh, this is fine because. Wait, what? Oh, I'm stupid. Oh my god, I'm just not paying attention. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I went to end phase. Evenly matched. Yo, evenly matched. Oh, I'm gonna lose the time. <laughs> what was that? No way. The guy evenly matched me. What? No. You're kidding. Okay, 100% I deserve to lose that because I had like five misplays, right? But like... Who expected me to get freaking evenly matched when I'm five seconds down on time so that I also lose by time because there's no way that I'm clicking that many cards in five seconds? Yo! That is so... That is ridiculous. I've never lost that bad... Like, I've never had a game which is more my fault in, in my life than, th than this game. Oh my god, that is so... I should probably stop streaming, but like, I really want to get to... because. I think I've like used too much decision making power and like my, my my critical function is like not working properly. So I should probably stop streaming, but I really want to get to like gold one by the end of the stream. Um Screw it, let's run it. It's like it's like eleven AM, so like I got plenty of time. It's not like I need to go to bed anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I should just upload that as a clip of like how not to play, how not to play Unchained. There was like so much I could have done there. Like some of some of the, some of the issues that I have playing this deck is that there's I have too many options, and then I get decision par par decision paralysis, and then because of the decision paralysis, I either misplay or I don't play as efficiently as I could have, or I do have the most efficient play and I. And I didn't realize it kind of thing. Like, oh, I, I think I could have done more. But no, I, could, I couldn't have done more. That was the best play I had. But like, I always feel like I could do more with Unchained. It's just, there's just so much potential. When this card is activated, you can add one Dogmatica Ritual, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this doesn't special summon. Uh, but you don't see Dogmatica every day. Uh, it is fairly popular, though. Because people do like the Branded Law. This is like the villains of the Branded Law. Um, so are they going to ritual summon? Normal summon. Uh, during the main phase, quick effect, you can fusion summon. Oh, okay. This, um, so this is basically just a branded deck, right? It plays pretty well into Max C. They don't have a link one, so we're going to wait, wait to chain. Okay. Uh, they're just ritual summoning. Okay. So they can chain this to fusion summon, which sucks. Yeah, I know, right? Unchained, it's just like... feels like limitless potential. What did they just send? Oh my god, that looks terrifying. I've seen it before though, I actually can't think of it. That Synchro, does it do something? Oh, I've seen this before. So, level 12. Uh, you're forcing me to send... Mm. Um, there are actually good cards that we can send, um, but we only have one of them. <laughs> Just one. So we're definitely sending Yama, uh, and then the other one we want to send uh, maybe Darius, so that we just have all of our options open. Actually, maybe Griffin because like we're not going first. I'm actually thinking about Kitan Griffin from from this deck actually. Um. Wait, wait, how many is it asked me to send? During a main phase, you can make your opponent... For every two cards in your extra deck, send one card from your hand and... I have to send how many? I have to send seven? Oh, that's actually a little bit brutal. Okay, so we can send this. I but I, I, I do need discard fodder. That's actually brutal, jeez. 
Okay, we'll keep the Zeus and we'll keep this. I'm basically forced to pot of prosperity myself. Um, maybe we maybe we actually send the rage right. Um, and maybe we send Cherubini because, like, getting out Ubel is cool and all, but like, it's not necessary. And we always have to go our way to do so. We might need the Phoenix. Oh my god, I'm using so much time as well. What a card. Uh, we can either send one of these because like, we only ever summon one of them. Yeah, okay. Oh, I hope you don't regret sending that last one, though. Um, yeah, okay. Because access code is usually better. Because it just has more attack and... Um, I, I actually have multiple elements, right? Yeah, I have light and dark, so I actually have two pops with access code. And access code can get a link four as well. Or Wait, is access code the material that I use? Um, it is called Link 1, you type one Link monster that was used as Link... Okay, yeah, so it's maximum like Link 3, but like... And is this guy gonna like rip my entire extra deck? This card's nuts! Why have I never had that done to me before? Okay, because it's gonna rip two more. I know what Maximus does, because I've used this card before. This is like high key, like brutal, actually. I might have to like sacrifice a Zeus. But Zeus is really good to go in second, and I might need it. God. This is, like, really bad because, like... I've, I've been streaming for so long that, like... My my critical function is, like, starting to, like, wane. And this guy's forcing me to make, like, so many decisions. It's actually, like... In, in, in like, the metagame of things, like, it's actually a really good strategy. Not that he's doing it intentionally, but, like... Okay, so we need the Yammer. I think we, we're fine to send uh, this. We'll keep all of these just in case. Uh, maybe we get rid of the Unicorn, I suppose. Feels risky to get rid of Unicorn. We have to send two, though. Honestly, I think Unicorn is, like, probably the... the worst here. Right. So they're just gonna get mad pluses off of this. I've never been dogmatic at this hard before. Is this a negate as well? I haven't even had the chance to read their stuff. Uh, can it be ritual summoned? Uh, dogmatic monster you control are unaffected by the activated effects of extra deck monsters. So I can't even Zeus this. This is, oh wait, this is fine, actually, because I can ultimate nightmare this. <laughs> this is going to be a juicy ultimate nightmare. During a main phase, you can make your opponent choose. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, okay, so they just special summon that. They have Albaz in hand. Did they search anything else? Um, okay. So we have the Yubo in hand. We also have a Yama in Grave, by the way. Um, we can Kaiju something. I think we Kaiju this, because this is like the only interaction they have. Um, okay, they, they do have a huge board, though. Um, we can leave this on board, and it's unaffected by... Okay, so we can, we can destroy this with Thingy. Ultimate Nightmare. Okay, so we're going to try our best to get out Ultimate Nightmare here. Get rid of that interaction. Do I know what their set card is? I'm working with like half time here as well because I spent so much time thinking about the thingy. Oh my god. Um, okay, I don't think I know what their set card is. We're going to fiend lock ourselves. Oh, I can special on this on my side of the field as well, actually. Um, yeah, might as well. Um, maybe might be able to bait out some interactions. It's useful. Um, only effect from extra. You can project other dog matches. Mm, okay. Um, so we have, we have, we can normal summon Sarama. Right, um... Oh, we can just immediately activate the, the Yammer. That's pretty cool. So yeah, we'll just Yammer for you, Bell. And we've got to get the Chain Link order right. So you always do Yammer Chain Link 1 so that the destruction happens on Chain Link 1 and you, Bell, doesn't miss the timing. Right, special summoning from deck. What are we special summoning from deck? We, um... Okay, so we can search this with Shalvara. So I guess we just go for the Blue Dog here. 
Yama is going to summon this. And then destroy you, Bell. Then you, Bell. Especially summon Terra. Uh, we can destroy the back row as well. Um, I think I'm going to do that. Uh, yeah. And we have plenty more pots, right? Let's see what their back rows. I'm pretty sure we have like a relatively easy OTK. We are fiend locked, I think. Yeah, because we summoned the Aruha. Um, let's summon this, I think. And then try and get rid of their monsters. So we can discard this, because we've already used it. Kill their Maximus. And then let's link into Yama. Using this. And we still have... Yeah, we have... We have so many plays, actually. Wait, did I just misplay? No, I didn't, because I can normal summon this. Okay. Oh, hold on. Uh, I'm running out of time. Quick effect, especially on this card in your hand, you negate the effects of one face up monster on the field. Okay. If they negate the U Bell, that might actually be a problem, but I don't think they're smart enough to, to negate the U Bell. Oh, that just negates it? Okay. This is. What's. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's mad noise going on. Um, okay, so we can set and pop this. Activate. And we'll go for the red dog. Why not? Actually, we can go for this as well. Um, yeah, actually, we, we should go for this. And let's go into a link three. I think we're going to have to use this. And then we'll link off. Wait, why can't we? Oh, we don't have the. Ah! <laughs> oh no. Rakea. Time pressure. I'm not actually sure if we have OTK actually. Well, I don't think we have it under this time condition. I'm losing to time so often. I'm literally not going to say anything. If I say anything, then I'll... So bad. Oh my god. At least go Caesar. I'm gonna lose the time. You can just attack over Caesar. Oh my god, Terra Incarnate! Oh my god, no! Oh. Okay. That was so tough, but I, I'm 100% sure I had an OTA line. I just I just completely forgot about my extra deck status because I thought I can just link this away into the into the Link 4 Unchained monster. I shouldn't have kept the access code. I, sh I, I mean, I shouldn't have, yeah, I shouldn't have kept the access code. I should have gone for, I should have, oh. I should have kept the Link 4. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, my, my, my executive function, my, my brain is not working, like, well enough. I need, like, some kind of break. I need to have a rest. I've been playing way too much Yu-Gi-Oh. I've been streaming. How long have I been streaming for? Does anyone know how long I've been streaming for? <laughs> 
I've been definitely. Oh, I've been streaming for two hours. Okay, but th th we've had some really intense games. Um, let's check the uh, win loss ratio that we have before I forget. Um, okay, I don't know if this shows everything actually. Maybe we're gonna have to check it after the stream. <laughs> Right, yeah. I have no idea how, how Dogmatica works, um, but that was definitely a learning experience. Uh, that was pretty brutal, though. He legit won because I just spent too much time thinking about the extra deck monsters. And it just carried over onto my turn, so I was, like, working with half t with half time. But, yeah, I think we're going we're gonna to call it there because I'm... I'm The last two games have, have had way too many misplays. Um, I definitely could have won that game. I think even even without even with my extra deck situation, even with the, with the mistake of the access code, uh, I, if I just focused on popping the Ubel to get the ultimate nightmare, I could have I could have dealt 4k, and then um, I don't know if I could have cleared the rest of the board for sure, but I could have at least like dealt 4k and like uh, crashed the two kaiju's if I had to. Um, but yeah, I was just expecting to be able to use anguish to to link off one of the opponent's monsters go into abomination but i forgot that i i got rid of the abomination yeah that's good to know for future that like access code is the better thing to get rid of instead of abomination because when you get fiend locks like it's harder to go into access code and you get fiend locked pretty often um so yeah keep this thing next time because with this i could have broken some i could have broken some mad boards like um this would trigger after Ultra Nightmare to pop a card. I could have popped the Kaiju, could kept my own Kaiju because I wouldn't have to crash. Um, Ultra Nightmare would have destroyed the 4K. Uh, this this would get two pops, right? And and a battle destruction thing. So um, this this alone would have cleared three monsters. Ultra Nightmare would have uh, cleared, cleared the four. Um, so that's like their entire board gone and then just attack with a Kaiju and just like one of the monster would have been more than enough for victory. So I definitely had lethal, but I think the edge deck problem would actually like probably sealed my fate. I don't think I could have done anything there apart from um, like uh, clear as much as possible and then end with a Caesar and try not to get my own board wipe with uh, Terra Incarnate. And I think the position that I was in there with the Terra Incarnate wiping my entire board, completely a mistake, yes. But um, I think it's still a decent position that I was in because um, it got rid of their 4k attack monster. Um, and uh, sure, Brandon does have a lot of follow-up, but um, I would have got the DVD float, so I would have got a lot of follow-up follow as well. I would have got the Shavara to set a trap um, at uh, maybe something else as well. I think there was what, like a third thing that was that was like, triggering. Yeah, interesting games, interesting games today. We did play a, a significant amount today. Um, I will uh, check out the match history by watching the VOD, because I'm not sure if this shows every single game that I played. Um, but yeah, and then I'll at the beginning of next stream I'll let you guys know how I did. Um, we could have done a lot better though, because this is gold and I definitely should be winning more. Um, but yeah, it's, it's some trick, some surprisingly tough games, but all of them were winnable, other than the ones, other than one or two which weren't like maybe this one or something. What was this guy playing? The math, like yeah, I couldn't have won that. Yeah. Uh, actually, that reminds me about the Mathmet game. I'm, should I put one Nibiru in my deck so I don't get, like, OTK'd? I don't know. Actually, I, do, I don't think we should, because this is a blind going second deck, right? Actually, Nibiru's, N Nibiru's really good going second still, right? So it's not really, it's not like it's bad. But I kind of just want to run it as a one-of to, like, stop those decks. Um, I mean, I, I probably should run more than one, but, like, this deck just doesn't have enough space for hand traps. And I do want to, like, run the kaijus um but then again maybe i could replace the kaijus with um nibiru hmm. i do want to keep my deck 40 though um yeah by the by the way uh this is definitely the last that was definitely the last all that we're gonna have you know talents hasn't been doing much for me actually Maybe that's because I'm in lower ranks, right? And like, um, and maybe when I get to the higher ranks, like it might be good because I can set it. 
Um, I only run one off because like you, um, I don't have that much space, and, and you can brick on two. Um. Hmm. Not sure. Maybe, uh, maybe I should get rid of some of the kaiju's. I mean, having two kaiju's is good because like drawing two isn't a brick. Uh. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. A 89 crank, you're right. I, I do at least need one Nibiru. Um, like, because I, if I had Nibiru in my deck during that Math Mech game, I, it might have been able to save myself. Um, because there, there are some there are some decks which just like go blind second and like even if I max see them, they just go way too ham. Uh, obviously, I I could run three Nibiru. Do I have three? I only have two Nibiru. You only have two Nibiru. Um, I mean, I could run two Nibiru, but it does mean that I would have to cut something. And that something is probably going to have to be Engine. Hmm. I don't want to cut any more Kaijus. I think two Kaijus is good. In fact, if anything, I want more Kaijus. Uh, but we've, we've been drawing them decently. And um, they have helped when we have drawn them. Hmm. We haven't got much use out of talents, but this is kind of like a future-proof kind of situation of like when we get to the higher ranks, this will be much better. Especially when going second, because it's just like steal one of your monsters. Okay, now I've just dealt with like two negates in one, or stolen like one of your negates. Like if stealing like a two material Appaloosa is just so juicy. Like if I if I'm going second right and I want to run board breakers, triple tactics talent is like one of the best board breakers. So. Yeah, um, I do have some thrusts, so I, I can run those. Uh, I only have two though. Um, hmm, but I, I don't think I want to run thrust though because it's not very good going first. Um, actually, I mean, it does have its applications because you're running unchained, so you can set one of the unchained traps. But like, still, um, you can't set the continuous spell. So actually, you can set this though. So that's interesting. Maybe we could put in one thrust. Maybe thrust is actually better than talents. Come think of it. Uh, hmm. <laughs> I don't know why I'm spending so much time optimizing freaking unchained you bell. <laughs> I should be spending more time like trying to optimize the original uh, unchained, pure unchained. Which, by the way has so much more space for non-engine because you, you, you don't have to run kaijus. You're not going second, so you can run more hand traps. And um, you can run these to stop your opponent's maxis, which is like Unchained's like main weaknesses. Um, hmm. There aren't many decks that can play through maxi, to be fair, but like I used to play pearly, so I'm like used to be able to like, oh, you maxied me? Yeah, I can still set up one interrupt with, and you can, um, yeah, I can still set up like three interrupts and you only get to draw one card. Easy. Either that or like sometimes like, and actually usually they have to like draw one card. But like, yeah, you can like set up three interrupts with Pearly and um, they only get to draw one card with Maxi. So Pearly is like super good on the Maxi. Uh, yeah, about this deck. Um... Like running more Nibiru does feel pretty pretty good to do actually, because we are going blind second, right? So Nibiru is like always alive, because Nibiru is better, a lot better going second than it is first. Because if you if you use it going first, and you you're using it on your opponent's turn, then you're usually tributing stuff on your own field as well. So it's only like a, a desperate measures kind of thing. Um, but if we run another Nibiru, then like we have to start an engine. So like maybe maybe we'll cut one escape. For a second Nibiru. But I do like the idea of like drawing Nibiru in this deck because we because Nibiru is like situationally even better than the uh um than the kaiju because we can potentially deal even more damage with Ultimate Nightmare. And like if we Nibiru like a a freaking massive board with Nibiru, then we could actually get like um like maybe like a one a one shot OTK. If like if, if the token ends up being eight thousand attack or more, then we could just attack because this deals 
This deals damage based on the attack. Yeah, based on that opponent's attack. So we can put the token in defense and just have the option of if we get Ubel out, then we can attack into it with Ubel and it deals damage equal to the attack. And usually since most decks have higher attack than defense, it could be like a significantly, uh, significantly more damage than a Kaiju. So yeah, this is really good, yeah. And like, we, we're never going to draw three Kaijus, but like, drawing two isn't a brick. Uh, so it's fine to keep two Kaijus. So yeah, I, I like this. It's, it's kind of funny how like, we have Ubel and then the Kaijus in between them, Terra Incarnate and then two Nibiru's in between them. I don't know how Master Duel like, orders their stuff. Um, but, <laughs> it's strange, but yeah. It's not even like, alphabetical, because like, these Ubel should be like, together. Is it like by release date or something? Even release date doesn't make sense. I don't know why it's ordered like that. Uh, but it actually kind of looks kind of aesthetic, actually. Like, Ubel, two Kaijus. It's pretty cool. I think the new support... Um, until the new support, Unchain do better to play Ubel. Yeah, yeah, this is literally... I think this is literally the best way to play Ubel. In fact, like... Um, but back when the Viking structure deck came out, I thought that Viking Ubel was like the best play way to play Ubel. But that's because I hadn't actually like experimented with Unchained. So I mean, I was aware that Unchained is a thing, but I thought it'll, Unchained would like be exactly the same uh, situation that you that you have with um, the Viking Ubel deck. Of like, if you see Ubel, if you draw, you have to hard draw Ubel to actually play the Ubel. Uh, but I didn't realize that like with Cherubini. You can actually use it to send Phoenix Rhino Warrior to actually like. So yeah, if I if I knew that in advance, I would have actually like promoted this like pre Phantom Nightmare in the TCG as well, and probably played it myself. Um, but yeah, it's just back then uh, I was still getting into the game and I didn't actually know like how Unchained worked at all. Uh, I just knew it. I just knew what Sharvara and uh, Shyama did because of the sneak peek. Because th my first ever sneak peek or um, premiere event as they call it nowadays. They used to call it sneak peek, sneak peek events, by the way. Um, but yeah, I, I, knew, I know these because the um, uh, Duelist Nexus sneak peek um, was my first sneak peek after my hiatus. Uh, and it was my first time going to locals as well. And well, first time going to locals in seven years. So um, yeah, it was really fun. Cause it's like, I actually got to uh, make a lot of new friends that day. It's was, it was very, very fun. Which is why I remember it and why I remember how these effects work. And like, these two are the only ones you need for Ubel decks. So I obviously studied like combos using these two, but I never studied like with Aruha and Rakea and stuff like that. Um, and I, I don't think many people have actually come up with this very deck themselves that, that play Ubel. Because um, like the way I had to come up with this was very, very complicated. It actually took me like hours of theory crafting because I was like, Okay, I know Cherubin is a card from Rarity Collection. So, and I read the effect and it's like, oh, you can send any level three. Oh, you can send Phoenix Rhino Warrior. Because um, I'm aware that Burning Abyss is like a deck because uh, I used to play during hat format. So I, I was I was there when Burning Abyss first came out and I got thrashed by Burning Abyss when, when, when trying to play U-Bell. It's like, oh, Farfa, your U-Bell? Attack the game? Yeah, just, <laughs> just, so yeah, I'm very used to Burning Abyss back when it doesn't does matter. Um, and yeah, Tour Guide plus Phoenix Rhino Warrior used to be a thing back then as well. Um, so yeah, I, I was aware that Phoenix Rhino Warrior was a card. Um, so I was like, okay. And then I, I'm aware of this, so I'm like, okay. So there's definitely something that can be done here, right? I can send Ubel to the graveyard and I can summon it in like multiple different ways. But how do I do this? Because uh, without getting Fiend locked, because it was kind of like a paradox, right? Because how are you supposed to get a level three on board when summoning this from hand fiend locks you so you can't actually go into Cherubini? So it's like, yeah. Okay, yeah, thanks for thanks for coming, uh, 89 Crank. I've been rambling way too much, so I should probably end stream and <laughs> and uh, not waste any more of your time for, for you vodheads who are keeping up with the series. I do appreciate you, by the way, um, keeping up with the series. Uh, and look forward to next episode where uh, hopefully maybe we can make it to the next rank. Um, and the next rank is uh, Platinum. So yeah, uh, that's our goal for next stream. Next stream will be uh, on, uh, it will not be Monday actually, it will be Tuesday morning UK time. Uh, because I, because of my sleep schedule, I'll probably be sleeping <laughs> on Monday evening. 
so yeah uh, look forward to uh around the same time that i streamed this stream so like uh 10 a.m uk time uh on a tuesday will be the next stream so yeah uh, i'll see you then thank you all for watching uh really appreciate everyone um and yeah i'll see you next time bye